Hi, welcome to Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, we'll discuss all the new features in Elementor version 3.9, both free and the pro versions. So let's get into it. Starting with number one, you can now save your widgets as default. Let's say you just drag in a heading widget and you make a couple of changes. Maybe you just change the HTML tag to H6. You change the text color to anything you want. Maybe that. You can also make the text transparent if you want and you can also give it a text stroke like so. Let's actually make the text color transparent. You can click the color icon and just drag the handle below all the way down. So that way only the outline color or the stroke color is visible. Maybe a blue stroke text like so. Basically you can make any changes and when you right click on any widget you now see an option called save as default. When you do that, this will be the default setting that will be applied to your heading widget. What do I mean by that? Well, next time you just drag in heading widget into any Elementor page, post or a template, you pretty much see the same thing. It's as simple as that. So you can make any amount of changes you want, like so, and it's all applied and it's really awesome. And this applies to all the widgets in Elementor. So let's say you just drag in an image widget. You can set a default image for your image widget in case you want to. Basically, you can apply defaults to every widget possible. So you don't have to start from right from the beginning, right? Maybe you can use this image as the default image. Give it a circular mask like so. And now when you right click and click on save as default, this will be the default setting applied to every image widget that you'll be dragging or using in any other page or template. So when I drag in another image widget, you can see these settings being applied to every new image widget that we drag. This is really handy when you are adding the same kinds of things. You can do this with icon list widget and all the other widgets. And this is a huge feature. This is just like global colors and global text, but it goes just beyond the text and colors and it takes your content game to the next level. This is cool. And now under Elementor experiments under settings, you now have a new option to lazy load background images. This will improve loading time of your page by only loading the images which are visible to the user. So all the sections below the usual viewport will load the images as you scroll to them. You can activate that particular feature and click on save changes. Again, this will help you improve page loading speed. Another cool feature. The third big feature is to create your custom shop page using WooCommerce product grid, right? Previously, this was only available to posts and other post types, but now you can build your own custom loop. So if you create a new product archive page, in other case, this is the shop page, for your WooCommerce store, you can simply add the loop grid widget and it works natively. Now we need to pick products from here while creating a shop page because this has to display all the products when the visitor goes to the shop page. You can create template right from here. You can click on create template, click on save and that will allow us to create our own custom loop for our shop page. By custom loop, you can totally customize the look, feel and the design of each of the individual product in the shop page. So as you can see, it gives us elements required to build a shop page. So you can drag in the featured image, you can make it round so you can add a mask like so. Maybe a circle, maybe a blob, something like that. Again, you can click on the widgets button. You can display the price if you want to. And let's also add the add to cart button in here. And you can pull in other data from here. Of course, the title of the product. Again, you can style this the way you want. Like so. All right. Now, once you do that, all you need to do is to click on save and back. And just like that, we've created our shop page. 
Now again, click on the widget. You can narrow the query. You can change it various things. But again, just select latest product so that it displays all the products added based on date. And you can see that in action. I just have like six products on the store. If you have multiple, you can also set pagination like so. You can have numbers, previous, next and so on. Maybe you can set page limit to three or something. You can just remove that to remove the page limit. But yeah, so this is how it looks. You can simply publish and just by using Elementor Loop Builder, you can now create your shop page, customize the look. This was previously not possible unless and until you used a third party plugin. Now it's natively available within Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can check it out from the link in the description. And finally, there's this pop-up advanced rule, which I want to show you. So if we go to a pop-up, now you can click on this arrow, click on advanced rules and under show to up to X times, you can control per day, per session, per week or per month, right? You can narrow the advanced rule like so. You can also limit the number of times the pop-up shows. So this is again a great addition. So these are all the new features in Elementor version 3.9 and 3.9 Pro. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.